帕川嘎正义见演唱会7月22日隆重呈现。美国国务卿安东尼布林肯星期五六月十六日表示，美国将会喺佢下个星期访华期间，就一系列嘅问题坦诚谈论，非常现实嘅关切。佢话，此行旨在建立开放同埋有权力嘅沟通。消息人士話，布林肯將會喺六月十八日至十九日喺中國舉行會議，並且可能會會見中國國家主席習近平。佢將會成為拜登二零二一年一月上任以嚟訪華嘅最高級別美國政府官員。We look forward to having a series of meetings with senior officials in Beijing, building on the engagements that we've had with the PRC since President Biden and President Xi met in Bali late last year. And to summarize it, the trip has three objectives. First, to establish open and empowered communications,、uh, so that our two countries responsibly manage our relationship, including by discussing challenges, by addressing misperceptions, and avoiding miscalculations. Second, to advance U.S. interests and values, and those we share with allies and partners around the world, including speaking directly and candidly. About our very real concerns on a range of issues, and third, to explore the potential for cooperation on transnational challenges, global economic stability, illicit synthetic drugs, climate, global health,、uh, where our countries' interests intersect, and the rest of the world expects us to cooperate. Intense competition requires sustained diplomacy to ensure that competition does not veer into confrontation or conflict. And again, that is what the world expects of both the United States and China. Now, our friends in Singapore and Southeast Asia more broadly are essential to realizing what is a shared vision for a free, an open, a prosperous, a secure, a connected, a resilient Indo-Pacific, where people, where goods, where ideas can travel freely, where rules are applied fairly and transparently.